Deathblight plays a massive role in Elden Ring's lore, but in terms of gameplay, it's pretty much useless, with only a couple things susceptible, which include yourself, and yourself, and yourself once again. But this all changes in the Convergence mod, which is a massive overhaul mod for Elden Ring, which adds hundreds of new spells, dozens of weapons, reworks entire areas of the game and even adds new bosses. And one of the new classes is the Necromancer, which makes full use of the brand new Deathblight status effect, which can now proc any enemy in the game, and when paired with the rank or spells also found in this class, it creates some of the most deadly attack combos I have ever seen. This video is also the fifth video in a seven part series I'm doing, where the final video will include aspects from the first six runs. So subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of those videos. Alright, so Fee is missed. I'm guessing that is just a normal... Oh, Tibia summons. Bomb, bomb, bomb. <laughs> okay. And then Blighted Armament. Okay, so we can't use Blighted Armament, unfortunately. I guess that gives us more reason to go grab the first set of spells immediately. Let's see what this class offers us and where we need to go. So Shimmering Rune, Necromancy, Tombsward Catacombs, Black Knife Catacombs, Giants, Mountain Tops Catacombs, and Deeper Depths. Uh, we got Fia set, Royal Remains set, and the Mausoleum Knight set. And as for the weapons, there should be a better staff. Should. Alright, give me a second. I'm going to try and figure out where the staff is. We have to go to Gary. We have to go to Gary to get the new staff. I mean, technically, if we go to Gary to get the new staff, we can just death flight him. For the item that boosts our damage, we need to go get the Ghost Flame Torch. We'll start off strong like we have with every single one. We go straight for the Shimmering Rune of Necromancy at Tombs Ward Catacombs. We'll go get the first rune to get some more spells. Like at first, you know, oh, it's a Deathlight build and Frost build. Doesn't sound too amazing, but like the more you think about it, it, uh, uh, it has potential. Do you dodge this? Um, where did the boys just go? Where is your passive phase? There it is. Oh my god! You can chain cast this? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I think we're going to be using this one pretty deep into the run. <laughs> this spell seems kind of broken. What have we got? Ghost Flame, maybe? Rancor Call? Lingering Blight? Rally the Legion? And then the Cursed Binding? Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> so Rancor Call is uh, just a bunch of skulls. Sends a blighter projectile towards foes on impact. It curses the enemy, causing constant bleed build, uh, death blight build up for 30 seconds. Increases the defenses of all summons and allies. Damage by 10% and their, hate, their defense by 15% and adds HP recovery to all, sec all summons. See, that kind of makes me want to use summons now. Makes caster immune to spirit summon debuffs and adds a stamina recovery. Wait, spirit summon debuffs? Wait, have they changed spirit summons in this to debuff you when you summon them? Oh, okay. Did you see my health and stamina? Just sorry, my health and FP bar. Also, why can I summon it here? Can summons just follow you anywhere? Do you just like follow me around? You literally just follow me around. Okay, I think we I think we use summons. I just because summons are changed. Go, we'll go kill the Erd Tree to gain access to the Erd Tree network. Oh, and that frosted him as well. Oh, God. Oh, we can charge this? Damn, I should have figured that one out earlier. Oh, there goes the frostbite. I can't do anything because I have no FP. There we go. Okay, so how, if I send you back and then summon you again, you just have full HP. <laughs> and let's go grab some memory stones so we can actually start <laughs> using some of these spells because they seem, they're so cool. 
At least with this build, we get to see Moongrom get death blighted again. That's going to be pretty fun. If we want to go to Gary, Gary's over here. We'll go to um, the capital and we can grab a bunch of golden seeds and sacred tears and all that on the way through. And then we can go to head up, make our way to Gary. So as far as I know, I should be able to hit Gary with lingering blight. Like that. <laughs> yep, there it is. Gary has a lot of death flat build up though. That took a while. And there we go, the Prince of Death staff. That is the better staff for this build. So we're obviously going to switch to that one right now. We've got the better staff. I think we want to get Death Bird and Leonia. So I think we upgrade this staff and go grab the Ghost Flame Torch so we get a boost to our damage. So we want to purchase three of these bad boys. I just purchased 15. Luckily, I picked up that new room really, wasn't it? Fuck, I'm so dumb. No, let's not do it again. Oh, boy. Let's not do that one again. Uh, we'll go to plus three staff. Not enough. We're going to go upgrade to plus five. We will never know. <laughs> Super, super fast. We're going to go kill the death bird. Oh, yeah. Wait, we have holy pots. The sacred water pots. This isn't the holy water pot, so I don't think this is going to do as anywhere near as much damage. But I still give it a shot. Oh my god, that does so much damage. I didn't even have the buff from the Ritual Sword Talisman. And... Ghost Slime Torch. Torch increases damage of death sorceries by 10%. So now we want to go get the Skeleton Summons, which I believe is from the Tibia Mariner up here, this one. Oh no, Summon Water Village. Now I'll show you how to fight a Tibia Mariner. That's how you fight a Tibby Mariner. Hmm. It's unfortunate, Lutel. This is goodbye. You have treated us very, very nicely. You've been a very good summon. But. The boys. <laughs> Alright, let's go kill Margaret. Alright, summon the boys. Give, give him Death Blight. Oh, the boys. Oh, dear. Uh, so about the boys. Wait, does he just come back? Oh my god, this spell- what the- They just come back? These dudes will like never die. I was like, I'm like, oh shit, they, have, they don't have much health. They don't have much health because they just like never die if they don't get hit. <laughs> so I was right in saying the Death Blight debuff plus Frost debuff plus physical damage or any form of damage is just absolutely insane. I wonder if Godric's going to be this that smooth because that was insane. No, the boys are dead. Fuck you, fucking bastard. Yeah, that's what you get, you bitch. All right, let's try and frost him again. All right, there he goes. Then hit him with death blight. I hate this boss now. The boys are susceptible to damage. What can I say? They seem to be taking quite a hit. Alright, so... Rancor call. Uh, 
There goes the frostbite. Oh, yep, real good attack. Here we go. 10 out of 10 attack right here, by the way. God, they are just going absolutely fucking ham. <laughs> oh, you were a bitch. At least one of the boys survived. Yeah, they don't seem to be amazing. We might switch back to something with a shield. All right, well, Godric's dead. He made me realize the summons probably aren't great and Lutel is probably better. We'll go grab the new uh, spells. So we need to go to the Black Knife Catacombs and then we'll go fight... Renala. Rattle them, boys. Can you... Go. Stand still and phase transition. Alright, now die. Where are the skeletons trying to go? Thank you. Where are the boys heading off to? Look at them. Where are we? This is in the Black Knife Catacombs. We went to the wrong catacombs the entire time. This whole time, y'all didn't think to tell me? Oh, shit. Does this one shot you? <laughs> Hold still! No, it doesn't. All right. And rattling time. Rattled. There it is. Glowing rune of necromancy. God damn. That was a trick. Ancient death rancor. Sac sacrifice. Curse of putrefaction. And then rancor bolt. Ooh. Ooh, more Rancor stuff. Ancient Death Rancor. I'm guessing this is just a better version of Rancor called just more. Instantly kill your summoned minions. When they die, you recover all HP and FP stamina points. I also receive a buff that increases absorption and holy damage by 10%. I don't think I want to use that. I don't want to get rid of the boys. I don't want to kill them. Sends a projectile towards foes, which upon impact curses enemy. Lowers target's absorption to holy damage by 10% and deals holy damage over time. Do these deal holy damage? Wait, we have to test this. Okay, because there's things for holy damage all over the place. The staff does holy damage. This reduces holy damage. Let's test uh, something out. Boom, boom, boom. 799 damage. Did I get the wrong things? Okay, wait, wait. So if I get the holy tier. <laughs> oh, why did I not test things before I drew them? Okay, let's go get some memory stones so I can use more of these spells and then we'll go kill Renala. Can I be honest? Like brutally honest? I really don't want to use summons. I, I honestly don't. Not because it's like it makes the game easier or anything. It's just kind of a pain in the ass to have, you know, two separate spells for summons when I could have those spell slots for actual spells that I want to use. And then summons going to be an extra thing to upgrade. And it's kind of a pain in the ass to run around buying the upgrades and all that sort of stuff. So we, we okay, we've experienced what the summons are like now in the mod. You can put them anywhere you want. You don't have to think about it. They're just there. We've experienced what it's like. It's fair to say I don't want to use them like because we can just get rid of that and that. Like it's just two whole last spells we just we just get straight up just get rid of. That also makes sense now that I've realized everything does whole damage. Why we did so much damage to the death bird. Death blight. Death blight. Frost. Okay. And then... Okay, we hit him with Death Blight twice. It seems like Death Blight builds up so fast with both of these activated, like both those spells activated, that it just procs them constantly. So now we can craft the correct thing, Holy Damage. And I also would like to kill, we'll kill Red Dog after Anala to get the um, the Godfrey icon so I can boost my damage of charge attacks because there are quite a few of these things that are charged. <laughs> It's beautiful. Look at him. Oh my God, it's such a beautiful painting. Okay, so I want to test something. 
<laughs> yes, we can indeed. Oh my god, Ancient Death Rancor deals so much damage. Why does that deal so much damage? Um, this build is pretty fun. How are all the builds so damn fun? They got the convergence devs did so well with every single fucking spell in this deck game. They're so good. They're so much fun to just like debuff the shit out of an enemy and just juice them up. I want to get the new spells. So the new spells are found in Giants, Mountain Tops, Catacomb. So we'll go get the new spells and I want to get the a new armor set as well. I want to try and get Fear set to see if that boosts our damage by even more. So let's head to Giant Mountaintop's Catacombs. Oh, you've got Golden Eyes. You're going to give us a lot of money. <gasps> Holy shit. We just got 350,000 runes. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> it just deals so much damage. Oh my god, they changed that move. How much damage does this do? Easy. Shining Rune of Necromancy and a Golden Seed. That's pretty cool. Ghost Flame Cannon. Wave of Corruption. Rancor Storm and soul steel. Okay, there are some more rancor stuff. So ghost flame cannon, launch a projectile in an arc towards enemies cause, okay, so I'm guessing this is like a projectile that just explodes in that sort of pattern, like the ghost flame explosion does. An explosion of death blight to spread out from the ground in front of you, causing holy damage and building death blight to an enemy. So I wonder if this does a lot of holy damage because if it does, then we might use it. Rancor storm is probably just an even more juiced up version of ancient death rancor. Rip an enemy soul from their body as a projectile that moves forward towards the caster. The enemy instantly becomes stunned when the soul is absorbed. Caster becomes, wait, well, instant becomes stunned. As in like staggered? The caster becomes drained of all stamina for a few seconds and loses all remaining FP. When it says instantly stunned, does that mean just stagger, just on the spot? Yeah, see that does decent damage. It also, wow, 30 FPS. How good is this? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's doing a bit more damage than I thought. Holy shit. And then this. Oh, wow. I have no stamina. It actually got rid of my entire... It didn't even get, like, use stamina. It just got rid of my stamina bar. So what's the use of it then? I can't dodge. I can't cast spells. Repost. Yeah, probably. Because I don't think you need stamina to get a repost, right? So if I do that... I can't repost. Like, maybe, is it supposed to be like, oh, you're in a tight situation? Here, here's like your way, here's like your option, your way out. Is that what it's supposed to be, maybe? Okay, and then I wanna try Ghost Flame Cannon. Oh, yep. It's, it's, it's exactly the same as Kaina Paima. It's the same animation, everything. Oh, look at it go. Oh, it absolutely tanks my frame rate, though. No. 
no i i'm sorry that that I, I i can't see its use you know what i can see its use you have a summon you keep staggering an enemy over and over again summons go ham on the enemy that is probably its only use wave of corruption is cool my frame rate is not cool though as cool as it is i genuinely don't think i can use that through a fight because it'll make it too difficult to try and do the actual fight ghost flame cannon rancor storm they are really cool i am going to keep using those and I also like to have Rankle, Bolt, and Tibia summons. We'll go fight Red Dog, get the Godfrey Talisman, the Godfrey Icon. Oh no, we'll go get Fear's armor set to see if that actually boosts our damage. And maybe we fight Morgoth and the new boss that replaces Goldfree, and then we'll fight Radan as well. And then we'll go get the last set of spells and then blast through the bosses from there. Oh, yep, it does a shit ton of damage. Nearly. Wait, our stuff is only plus five. <laughs> but the damage we've been doing and we have a plus five staff. Holy crap. All right, we got the enchanted remnant. Now we can go to the capital and go get fear set and... <laughs> fear set. All right, so our current set gives us Int and Faith by one. Theas does Int and Faith by two, reduces cost of Sorcerer by 2% and damage. Oh my God, it's just so much better. Let's upgrade this staff to plus seven and then we'll fight Margaret and Godric. I mean, Morgoth and Redan. <laughs> ah, we can also test out Ensha's set, I guess. You just died from holy damage anyway. You didn't even die to Death Blight. That's cringe. Int, Faith, Endurance by one, holy damage by one. See, that's not that bad, but, you know, this increases death sorceries, which is what we're using. Man, I'm fucking brain dead. I'm so fucking brain dead right now. Um, Radan has, like, 30,000 or something. Like, they've boosted the damage of, every, like, the, st the health of every single boss in the game. Oh, I forgot how much damage those do. This boss is a little bit excessive sometimes. There we go. Not too bad. I feel like the biggest letdown with this build specifically is the lack of closer ranged options. There seems to be a lot of mid range to long range spells, but there's not a lot of close range. So Death Blight. Whoa. Oh my god, why did that cast twice? Ow! <laughs> yeah see I, I i just feel like it's kind of rough to try and do close range stuff with this build because morgoth's a very aggressive fight normally you would fight up like very up close never want to go ranged which i've been able to do with all the other um status effects hopefully the last rune does have something i think the last rune has ghost flame explosion which is very close range and very 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 high damage so hopefully that's something good all right uh let's go to radan then uh, I think we might be a little bit over leveled. We don't normally come to Radan this late, so this might be a f fairly simple fight. I couldn't dodge. I was stuck in the seat. I couldn't move or do anything. I 
I want to try this. Oh, wow. My boy is glowing. Do a swishy swishy so I can... That's not the swishy swishy. Oh, now you do it. Easy. I have a really dumb idea. He has iframes through that. Are you serious? How did that hit me? That's better. A little slow, but that's fine. All right, I've gotten a good use out of these spells now. I think we head to deeper depths to go get the last set of spells. Jesus fucking Christ. I hate this boss man. I oh, fucking 30 FPS. What the fuck? Why did it just go everywhere? Just chaos. That fight is just chaos. Absolute, like, what if we made a fight that just halves your frame rate? Death light. Death light. That is the most charge attack I think I've ever seen. Okay, this is kind of useless. What? Oh, I hate this arena, man. Just a big fucking tree. Bro, what is his range? It's, the, the arenas are too small. It's, it's, it's so damn tight in that goddamn arena. He has attacks that cover the entire place. And it's like, okay, well, wh what am I supposed to do to not take damage on this fight? Like, do you just want me to one-shot him or something? <laughs> because I figured that this, this out the other day, you can death blight Forta Sacks. Because, of course, you can. I don't know why, but you just can. So, smack him with that. Smack him with that. And then just really smack him with this. Ugh. Okay, I want to see how good this is. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> how good is this? Why is it summon the boys up there? Uh, oh. 
<laughs> That's so cool. That's our good old friend Fortisax down and dusted. And it is also the last rune. Ghost Flame Embrace, Ritual of Ghost Flame, God Wins Vengeance, Phoenix of Death. Ghost Flame Explosion doesn't seem to exist anymore, unless that's what this is. Strike your staff into the ground to conjure a series of Ghost Flame Explosions around you. Is this to what replaces it? Wait, this sounds insane. Yep, I found out what replaces it. <laughs> <laughs> okay ghost flame embrace envelop the caster all allies and summons in ghost flame so nearby enemies will take holy damage and frostbite build up that is awesome an aura of death blight around the player causing build up to nearby enemies increases weapon damage by 10 percent and absorption so this is the weapon buff and then i'm guessing this is the sorcery buff increases death sorceries by 10 percent fp regeneration and decreases absorption okay and i also need to grab another memory stone for our good old friends tibia summons so we'll, let's go quickly grab another uh, last memory stone oh my god that deals how much damage that wasn't even a full cast that was just a a, a press cast i didn't even charge it or anything Okay, so I didn't really get to see the amount of damage that Ghost Flame Embrace did. So I kind of want to... We'll go fight the dragon here and I'll just cast Ghost Flame Embrace just to see how much damage it does because I'm not too sure how if it did like good damage or if it was just a, mainly for the build-up of um, Frostbite. Because if it's just for the build-up of Frostbite, I don't think we use it, which also makes, make, makes using this Memory Stone kind of useless as well, but we'll grab it still. Oh, see, it's literally nothing. And that only did frostbite build up, was it? Oh, wait, it causes a large ghost from explosion dealing hollow damage and causing frost. Is that why the tree died so quickly? He's frostbited. Oh, when someone affected by ghost flame embrace dies, it causes an explosion. So that makes sense for summons. I think it's once again another summons um, spell. So it turns out just Ritual Ghost Flame is just kind of broken. We're going to upgrade the staff to plus nine. So we want to go to Gramajor. So I guess we're in the right place anyways. I might die from that. Oh, no. <laughs> Holy shit. A ritual ghost flame just did like too much damage, I think. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, so I think I upgrade the staff to plus 10 and we'll go fight fire giant. Fucking absurd. Alright, so I want to try something specific with Fire Giant, and it involves these. No way. Oh, he was so close as well. Look how close he is. No, I've got to try it. I have to try and get it.
What is that around me? What was that? All right. I honestly can't be bothered to try it again. There was a giant holy circle around me caused by something. What does Phoenix of Death actually do? Casting this sorcery will grant Death Ward. Death Ward will prevent the caster from dying one time and then Death Ward will be consumed. Interesting. Let's... I want to go do Rykard. <laughs> I... I want to try that spell out in Rykard because I think it's just going to just... <laughs> it's going to be so bad against him. It's going to just ruin his day. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's a very, very balanced spell. Very, very, like, normal balanced spell. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, it doesn't quite one-shot Rykard, but... <laughs> it's pretty good! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I don't think it's good enough. It didn't one-shot Rykard, so I think they should buff it. I, I, it just doesn't do enough damage, I don't think. Let's do Fire Majula stuff. So we do Sierra, Placidus Axe, Lancey Axe, and Malekith. The problem with this build is we take like twice as much damage. Oh, too long. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's such a long spell. All right, so I wonder how we're going to try and do this in Placidus Axe. Obviously, he can't be... S oh, wait. Sleeping is still worth it. The reason sleeping is... Yeah, as I said earlier, the reason sleeping is still worth it is because things just take more damage once we sleep them. I reckon we try and use Tibia Summons on this fight. The reason being is because, for some reason, they just target whatever you've locked onto, which includes a dragon's head just floating in the air. So... Never mind. We won't use the summons because she just dies instantly. I think I try sleeping. I don't know if it's going to go well. I don't know how... He probably has a super, super high resistance to sleep. One. Two. All right. He's got the sleep status effect on him now, I think. Yeah, it's all right. I've had things that do more damage than that. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, it's good. Like, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying we've definitely seen high numbers. All right, we'll wait for him to do lasers and then we'll cast the uh, Ritual Ghost Flame again. I have, a t I have a very dumb idea. Don't wait for lasers. It's just that simple. Just don't wait for lasers. <laughs> all right, Placidus Axe is dead. <laughs> Let's see how Malekith goes. Does this reach? Of course it does. 
That didn't. Wait, you can sleep Malekith normally? Okay, yeah. Malekith is way too aggressive for this shit. Can you phase transition? It's such a good build. It really is. Baron Majolo is completed. How about we do... Let's do the Godskin Matriarch now. It's not it. It's just not it. I really dislike this boss. It's far, far too aggressive. Fuck off. Fuck no, we're done with that shit. What can we do? Underground, dear. I'm not fighting Mimics here. I've had... I have PTSD fighting Mimics here on these runs, alright? Trust me, after the Madness run... <laughs> and the Poison and Rot run... <laughs> it's not happening. All oh, right, he's weak to holy. <laughs> it's so obscene. It's such a ridiculous fucking set spell. All right, let's head to Astel. Uh, why is that red? Why is it all red? That's not normally like that, is it? Oh, wait. Did they make it so you can see down there? Why can I see into the Lake of Rot? That's pretty cool. Don't do something dumb. Oh, I can tank it. Just. Oh, you are so resistant to magic. It was so worth holding that. It was so worth holding that to get the entire cast off. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, well, Asel is definitely dead. <laughs> Let's go to... Fuck, Melania, I think. We only have a couple bosses to go. I think Melania's next. Um, we try and get this off. I don't know how to get this off though. I don't know where to get it off. Oh, right about there.
Yep. All right, I imagine Melania with this build is going to be... Uh, well, you know, I think a breeze is a, probably the best word I could use. I don't think we're going to be able to get the big ghost flame explosion off. Like, as much as I'd love to. I'd absolutely adore to try and get that off. I don't think it's happening. I really don't think it's going to happen. Wow, my frame rate just reduced itself a lot. I think maybe we can try this, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, what? Your strength. <laughs> Extraordinary. I wasn't exactly expecting that to completely stagger her where she wouldn't be able to attack. I think you can cast that attack way too quickly. You shouldn't be able to cast Tibia summons that quickly. Like, I understand why they buffed it. Like, it's nice, but that's too much. <laughs> Um, did we fight? Did we refight her? Yeah, I think we refight her. That felt a bit cheap. All right, so I want to try and do this spell instead. There we go. That's better. Yeah, the, the first attempt felt a little bit cheap. I'm not going to lie. But still, that was a pretty fast kill anyways. All right. Mog. Let's go kill Mr. Mog. What is happening? He's dead, I think. There is something happening on my screen. I don't know what it is or how to fix it, but it's something. All right, Mog's dead fairly quickly. Uh, unsurprisingly, Ritual of Ghost Flame, I managed to get it off just and it just ruined him. Uh, let's go into the capital now. Oh, we should have done the death ending, shouldn't we? How do you do that? How do you do, there's an ending that's like links up with fear and all that. Boom. All right, we've got the death ending. All right, let's go kill the dude, the not crucible night guy. That's such a shit attack. Sorry, 40 vigor, by the way. I have 40 vigor. Fuck off. All right, Godfrey should be a little bit smoother.
What are you doing? Phase transition! Oh my god. The old man has got Alzheimer's and forgot what to do. Uh oh. It won't let me leave the game. Oh, we got saved by the fucking. <laughs> We had someone with dyslexia and then someone with fucking Alzheimer's. Man, who's next? All right, Radagon should be... You know, I say that. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I, I'm, I'm speechless right now. I don't know what to say for Radagon. Probably just going to be absolute fucking chaos as usual. Oh. Problem is, I can't fucking say anything. Alright, so for Elven Beast, Death Blight, and then obviously just Blasting. How did that hit me? How did it hit me twice? Look at the skeletons following! <laughs> um... Is the wall here? No, oh, it is. Wow, 40 FPS when nothing's happening. Alright. So, how do we do the ending? Alright, there you have it. The, uh, Necromancy run. Basically, what I figured out with this run is it is... It's debuff city. You're using debuffs to just absolutely take down and tick down everything in the game. Whether it's, uh, a spell or if it's death light or if it's frost, you're just debuffing everything. And then explosive ghost flame replacement attack. Uh, probably should nerf that a little bit. I don't think it should be doing 50,000 damage on big bosses. Just a, just a thought.